Really? So let's, for example, use um, this equation to construct the differential equation first. So x squared minus 4x uh, plus 4. And therefore, what I can do is create this differential equation with an expect uh, result. Um, now, this differential equation, what it will actually result in is a double root. It will have, uh, it will, um, by the way, how these are solved, the second order, this kind of differential equation, I covered it in a video, um, in a previous video, so you can watch that too is the solution for this kind of equations but the general idea is um, you use the you can rewrite it as a quadratic um, equation where the double prime is r squared of course respect the coefficient so here's one here's no worry but a y prime is just r the coefficients are kept the four minus four and then when there's just y it's just uh, four uh, therefore the idea is where there is y uh, it is um, it is just one. And when there is y prime, you replace it by r, and when there is uh, double uh, y double prime, it's r squared. You can write it as a quadratic equation as such, but keeping in mind that all this stuff works on the basis of this substitution of this substitution. Therefore, when you're going back to the actual result uh, and getting the final uh, general result of it, uh, you have to realize that um, this substitution was used because of the properties of, of exponents in such, in such a substitution and maybe it's useful to show it just quickly so if you double prime this, double, double derivative, you get r squared e to the rt if you single derivative this, you get r, r you get e to the rt and this is uh, for e to the rt and then if you divide both sides by e to the rt you get exactly this um, quadratic equation that is why I went straight to the quadratic equation because it's the realization that first you uh, know about the substitution. But this was covered in the previous video. I'm not going into this on purpose that much. Uh, the idea is though, I'm just quickly going to solve for this equation. I'm going to show you what happens when there is repeated roots. Actually, the formulation of the general solution for such differential equation is slightly different, which is something I'm going to point out in this one. Uh, therefore, the solution for uh, this particle one, again, why I created it in the beginning is because um, it has a repeated root. It has a root of uh, 2, but it has a root of 2 twice, right? There's this and this. Now you can check that it, that is correct. It's just r squared minus uh, 4r plus 4 is the general formula for a minus b all that squared. Uh, now, with the general solutions for such equations, uh, you know, if you have two solutions, I can write in a way that really there is two solutions which are the same, which uh, so, uh, looks a little bit weird when you look at it that uh, you would write the same solution twice, but it makes a little bit of a point in this case. So the general solution for this is, well, you get y1 and that is you substitute back into the substitution for y. So you got r is to be 2, then that's uh, 2t. In many cases, you get this other one, for example, to be the polar opposite, so minus 2. So y2 would, for example, be e to the minus 2. And now, the idea is that the general solution is any constant or linear combination, that means constant multiple of the first solution plus uh, whatever constant multiple of the second solution. It depends on the initial value. So it can be any of those constant multiples or our solutions to the differential equation. The idea is the gen general solution is as follows. It's some constant multiple of the first one plus some same or other constant multiple of the, of the second one y1 being for example this and y2 being for example this in this case though in this case though there's a repeated root so what you would get is there's not minus 2t in the second case there again is 2t therefore y by the rule should be c1 times e to 2t plus c2 so in a combination of the two roots right and the second one again the same again the same the rule is though that uh, for such cases don't forget to add the t also here. It's um, it's required uh, in order for the solution to be correct. Okay, so don't forget with repeated roots. Not only is there a linear combination as always, but the when it's repeated, one of the uh, one of the terms uh, is multiplied further by.